All right, back at Fendra Drift. So, that little story you put behind me, and my mind now put at ease. Although, I guess a little follow-up to that story is, um, these days, whenever he, he asks to, to borrow a game of mine, he always gives the caveat of, I will make absolutely certain it's returned to you in 100% condition, because, uh, see, at the age of 17, Bob might have started lifting a shitload of weights, and I might have become actually pretty fucking muscular at my age, so, well, not like bodybuilder level, but I was like extremely toned and had some pretty beefy muscles, so uh, I was able to intimidate him quite a bit, so yeah, and he also seems respectable. To be fair, Josh has become a lot better over the years, ever since I moved to Arizona. Like, he was a complete, I'm just gonna say, he was a complete cunt when I moved here first, but he's gotten better. Don't like talking to him, but he's, still, he's gotten cool. Anyway, so that little, um, serrated, uh, take it off my chest now. By the way, Corvette is only broken by super missiles. Well, not good there for a good while. I think there is something here you can get, though. No, that's not up to later. Um, back of Indra Drifts, there's this giant temple here, like, just protruding out of nowhere. It's great. Wait, what? That wasn't there, right? Not there? Okay. Just... I'm not sure what made sound effects about that, but... Eh. Uh, going through. Mm. Cool. More dicks. Dicks hanging from the fucking ceilings right now, Jesus. Actually, that's basically what they are. <laughs> Funny enough, I was just making a dumb joke there, but it's actually kind of accurate. It's amazing how that works out. Alright. Oh, hi, Shegoth. How are you doing today? I didn't think you spawned yet. Or I didn't think you aggroed yet. Come on. By the way, if you shoot him in the front, um... I haven't really described this yet, huh? If you shoot him in the front, um... Your attack, like, bounces off of them. So you want to hit him from behind, which is our weak point. I don't think I've explained it too much, but it's kind of given, but you know. In case that no one really caught that yet because okay I'll admit I'm pretty slow sometimes at picking stuff up just because like I got some bad like metaphorical and literal tunnel vision so I just have to point that out those things um aren't are they're basically just like a slightly faster version of um crystal lights and yeah, I just miss a little and they die easy like in a hard mode the damage output of these enemies would be a lot higher I think like what was it, like Two to three times? It's ridiculous. I've heard endless horror stories of people trying to fight meta Ridley on hard mode. Oh shit, I can shut it off now. Ooh, cool. Um, if you're close to a wall and you shoot a charge beam, you will actually be able to see your eyes a little bit. Actually. Ah, it's not in this game. Um, in Prime 3? Tier 2 or 3? Um, Prime 3, I'm gonna say that. Uh, you can actually see the reflection of your eyes when you have the scan visor out. It's very cool. You know, if I'm God, with the, I'm playing, with the way I'm playing this right now, uh, I could honestly be talking to Let's Play the entire Metro Prime trilogy at this point. Be, with how much fun I'm having with Prime One by itself. Then again, Prime One again, kind of one of my favorite games ever made. So there's that. One of these days I'll get to Mario 64, like my first game ever. Not my first, but like my first like real one. All right, let's see what I got. Hey, Cordite. The statue is flawless. <laughs> the statue is flawless. So, are you saying flawless from like it has no cracks on it, or flawless as in this is pristine art, the most overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly beautiful art? So, I statue. Several structure, brimstone. Oh shit! I haven't mentioned that yet. If you scan something, it says it's weak to brimstone. Um, it's weak to missiles. Sandstone is weak to morph ball bombs. Cordite's weak to super missiles. And Ice is weak to the plasma beam later on in the game. I don't think I have to explain that too much, but there you go. Oh, word for the wise, uh, there is a Trojo artifact underneath here, and you need the plasma beam to get it. Just so you guys know. Also, those are moth wings. Those aren't bird wings, those are moth wings. What the hell? Huh, strange. No. So look at all, I love these lying effects in this game still. Oh my god, so beautiful. So, let's get the show going. Uh, this one's a pretty easy puzzle, actually. Double bomb that, take that out, wait for bombs to regenerate. I think one of my criticisms about this game, though, is that the more fall bombs seem to take a little too much time to regenerate sometimes. A little. Okay, regenerates. I'm not sure why I dropped all three there, though, but alright, sure. One, two, three. Neat. And going in. Hmm. Strange. 
We have a giant wide open hallway with a with a power up at the end of the end of it. What was that? I don't know. And giant suspicious metal structures. Well, safe to me. Totally safe. No, nope, nothing can possibly go wrong. Shaking, definitely safe. Nothing can go wrong. God damn it. <laughs> and this is also why I have trust issues. Oh boy, <laughs> that fucking Chigoth already shot something out. God. Alright. Uh, I'm not even gonna hold back. I'm just gonna nuke all these guys right now. Fuck it. <laughs> the hell with it. Alright. Ooh. Yeah, that's a. Uh, boy, that's a thing that's happening. Come on. Come on. Get to his ass. There we go. Eat shit for days. Alright. Huh, I guess the charging does have varying levels of strength. I mean, I probably should have guessed that, but, eh. Knock, knock, here comes the cock! Sorry. No, I'm not. So, actual She-Goth. This thing's charging right at me. Holy crap. She-Goth. Supreme Predator of the Fendrana Drifts. If you're not Conan phase on. Actually, I think this thing is Conan phase on. It's really hard to distinguish what exactly in on Talon 4 is native and what and what has been affected by phase on most beam weapons basically those don't shoot beam weapons at it uh that's why i can really tell you so i think there's a way to like take this thing out if you use like more ball bombs and are like what the hell is you just doing there's a way to like kill them if you use more ball bombs or a legs or something i think yeah by the way uh just pump their mouths full of uh Missiles. You know, this strategy from before. You're sparking a crazy amount, sir. Holy shit. By the way, they shoot that really fucking fast. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay. I remember you chained that before. Damn. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, again, for proof why you should be stockpiling on missiles at this point in the game. You drop stuff. I know you do. There you go. Okay, cool. Also, this like little. How do you get stuck in here? God, I must have stuck. I know if I was stuck in there for a few years, and I came bursting out of sudden, I would be pissed too. Shit. So, first beam weapon of the game. Also, the second new upgrade of the game, the wave beam. Oh my god, this thing is so cool. All right. So again, use the C stick to swap between weapons. Like power beam is uh, up right now, so you press up to access it, and wave beam is just right, so you press right to access it. Very cool. Or at least I believe so, because this thing is really cool. Uh, wave beam is really cool. It's a lot slower than the power beam, like, you know, like, obviously. However, each shot does pack more punch. This laser is elemental, or it's packed with electricity. Um, they do a lot more damage. And it also comes with some really cool properties, like, um, the charge shot actually tracks people. It does a shitload of damage too. If it hits them, it paralyzes them. That's also really cool. Like, I'm not sure the exact tracking of the wave beam, but it's really good. Actually, we can go test it right now. Fuck it. It's not small, I know that. Charge beam for power beam can't um, track, but this one definitely can. Also, a very cool thing. You can use a charge shot from, from the wave beam to actually kill those. Bomb moves are a thing of the past. Huh, there is a range limit actually, cool. Also, you know, it's like charge beam, full sh uh, full charge is just very pretty in my opinion. My very shitty opinion sometimes, but you know, whatever. Two each to run. Oh yeah, they like, I don't know why, they like become a singularity when you kill them. It's weird. I'm not sure if there's any other ways to kill Bamu's offhand. Oh, by the way, for the wave ones, um... If you do the charge, it they just like speed up. They don't actually go after you. Thank Christ. Yep, oh, he's around the corner. So that's convenient. Can we leave that? We can leave. So, <sighs> wait, what? That bird is uh, like a fucking nosedive. I guess they have some cool drag properties by themselves. Huh. Those are actually very nice. Anyway. So, what next? Alright, I have the double jump, I have the wave game. My first question is, 
two hours and 45 minutes into recording, huh? Uh, yeah, I can keep going for a little bit longer. I don't see why not. I'm not really doing anything else tonight anyway, fuck. I got the majority of what I want to do out of the way already. I should do it, some more stuff later on, so... Eh, I'm having fun. I'm having tons of fun right now, actually. Oh, I was gonna play Skyrim, that's what I was gonna do. Eh. It's pretty weird for everyone watching this playthrough live. Like, they've... I've mentioned Skyrim, like, probably a couple days ago in a previous episode. Here I am today saying, so saying, I'll play Skyrim. And for me, it's just like an hour. <laughs> just the last mentioned it. It's very weird how that works, huh? I'm gonna just sneak through here. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 hang on. Can I walk in here? Is there anything of importance in here? Probably not. Excuse me, boys, coming through. Oh, well, there's nothing really to be had in here. Oh, also, if you're jumping, um, you can press the L, like hold the L button, like adjust your trajectory. There's some weird like stuff you can do with that. It's odd. If I remember correctly, I think the PAL version of Metro Prime fixed a lot of that. Like, I know the double jump exploit is definitely removed from the game, period. They, they took that out. Um, there's some other stuff they adjusted also. I'm not too sure of it offhand, but I know there's some... Question mark? Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, also, while, while we're on the whole, like, Metro Prime trivia thing... So, I got this. Uh, if you've ever played Super Metroid or Metro 1, or Zero Mission... Ho hopefully you guys have played a Metro game before, before this. If you haven't, holy shit, you need a guy, you guys need to get on some, uh, either Prime 1, Metroid Fusion, Zero Mission, Super Metroid especially. And I'm just saying, they're really easy to find. I think Fusion's available for the uh, download, isn't it? I think it is. I wish it was available for my consoles though, because I totally would have done a Let's Play of Fusion by now, but the problem is my cartridge is like really fucked. I mean, I could just emulate it, but I've had bad experiences with emulating Fusion personally. I never get, never get controllers to work right. It's weird. It feels uncomfortable. Trying to play with the keyboards is not a possibility because I'm trying to hold the R button. It just doesn't work very well. I don't know. I, I just have bad experiences with trying to emulate Fusion personally. I'm sure if I drop enough time into it, I could totally let's play it. But I don't know. Maybe not for right now. So I definitely need something else to post along the side Prime anyway. Eh, I'll think about it. Why not? Also, I'm like going around in circles right now. I'm not really thinking. What am I doing? Okay, that's there. Oh yeah, I'm about to go bust some space pirate heads. That's what I'm about to do. How could I be for so be so forgetful? Speaking of which, where the hell am I going now? This, is, this place is a little precarious though. Oh, thanks for telling me the path I need to take. How convenient. That had to be intentional. There's no way that was by accident. Like putting it there so players would know where the hell to go next. That's way too conveniently placed to not be so. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you don't even need jump scares or you don't need horror elements that make things scary. Just shit like that. Right, hell, sometimes I get the biggest scares out of dead space when I'm close to death and all of a sudden something jumps people from behind. Jump scares be damned. I'm sorry, when you have like a basically a fucking nuke lodged lo to your arm, or like the equivalent of it in terms of, of a weapon strength, you, you, nothing's really scary anymore. At least I don't think so. Hmm. That's why I find a lot of console games to that are actually horror to not be very scary because, you know, I don't know. I never really had horror experiences with Resident Evil, like at all. Regenerators don't resonate before he will hold their matter. That's a good exception. I'm thinking you can't really upgrade your weapons in RE6. RE6 was kind of a soulless game though. Eh, whatever. Why is my why is the forearm muscle so stiff right now? Jesus. <laughs> I got a completely pointless thing I'm saying, but it's my arm, damn it. What the hell? I'm kinda of using the ooh my analog stick, so kind of important for me. Shit. Okay, by the way, so this is a little puzzle. Um, Oh, shit. I didn't even mention that yet. Um, I'm going to jump down here really fast. This is not a time limit. Um, these things are um, spinners, basically. You jump in it and um, you use a boost ball. with, Or you go morph ball, you jump in it, use a boost ball, and it activates it. 
In any case, I didn't mention that yet. Um, did I use a boost blossom rare before this? I don't remember. <laughs> Memory's getting a bit foggy from close to three hours of recording. I'm gonna have hella content though, I know that for sure. But damn, dude. I could probably fix it up tomorrow, actually, damn. Now that's an idea. Oh shit, those things are on eye level. Also, I don't think you need to mention this, but if you hear that, like, siren sound, yeah, puzzle time. It's pretty easy to get up, though, don't worry about it. So, what we got? This door has no power. A nearby power conduit has been energized. Open it, allows the energy. Oh, energy conduit. Conduit radiates some heat that is invisible to Norm's full spectrum. Basically saying, get something that will make you able to see the target, and you'll be fine. So, uh, how does one go about doing that? Well, as it just so happens, we have some other doors around here we can access. This one being, I know of which is a save point. Word phrasing, very particular. Oh, I know what I can do. I can just um, stop recording after this, after I get down to the pirate base. By the way, this is a space pirate... Uh, is that correct? Really? Yes. Space pirate base, uh, around right the corner from here. As in, you walk over here... You turn right, and hey, space heart base. <laughs> can't get in a whip while the waving, but you can't really get a lot of places while the waving at this point, really. Fendron Drifts is very centered around the wave beam, and later on the ice beam, so yeah. Suddenly, <laughs> robots. Uh, sure. Is this thing the advanced version? Hi! Oh, also, a very crucial thing. Um, you can't do the missile canceling um, with the wave beam or any other beams besides the power beam. So, like, yeah, I know it doesn't work. Because it has to, like, reform first. Whereas this, yeah, it doesn't work out very well. So, if you're using the power, uh, the wave beam, you're very committed to it, just so you know. Um, I will show off some combat with the wave beam, though, because it's pretty cool. 